Shalom and we are so glad that you could join us once again to learn and to meditate God's Word. God's Word can always be applied in our lives on a daily basis and we trust and hope that as we meditate on His Word, we will live according to what His Word instructs us. We have been meditating about wisdom, which is an important characteristic in the life of a believer. Today, our focus is walking in wisdom. Scripture in Colossians 4-5 says, Walk in wisdom towards those who are outside, redeeming the time. I'm reading it also from another version, the Good News Bible, which says, be wise in the way you act towards those who are not believers, making good use of every opportunity you have. In this verse, we are called to walk in wisdom, and especially to those who may be indifferent to our faith, who may be hostile to our beliefs and our faith. So what does the word walk mean? The word walk has to do with the way that we live our lives, the way that we conduct ourselves, which means the way that we speak, the way that we act, the way that we generally decide on, on the way that we live our lives. So Paul is encouraging us that in our daily walk, to walk in wisdom, especially in in, in front of those who are outside or those who do not know God. So, in general, when we are called to walk in wisdom, no matter who we are impacting, our special focus needs to be on those who do not know God. The ultimate mark of walking in wisdom is to walk with an eternal perspective, knowing that we do not walk uh, keeping our temporal goals in mind, keeping our flesh or keeping the world or keeping other things in mind, but keeping a perspective of eternity in mind. So when we are called to walk in wisdom, uh, especially to those who are unbelievers, what does it do? When we walk in wisdom, we are creating an impression of what we stand for, of what our faith is of who we are professing. It creates an impression of what we believe in and the way that we conduct ourselves in light of that belief. When we walk in wisdom, we are also ensuring that it impacts our testimony. Whatever we do impacts our testimony. It gives, uh, it gives either glory to God or, or it brings down uh, fame of, of our Lord Jesus Christ. So when we do walk in wisdom, we are upholding the Lord Jesus Christ. We are upholding who we stand for. So we are called to be careful in the way that we walk when we walk amongst those who do not know the Lord. We are asked to make use of every opportunity. So today, in, in your interactions with people, Let's use every opportunity to impact others for the gospel and for the Lord Jesus Christ. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, we pray that you will empower us. We will take every opportunity to impact those who don't know you for the love of Jesus Christ. In our words, in our actions, in our decisions, May, may you be glorified. May people know that we live and we are devoted and our lives are set for you at all times. Thank you for answering our prayer. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.